Hello everyone, it's Maria here with you today and I am back for Not Too Shabby. I am going to share with you a process video of this rainbow slimline Christmas card showcasing a lot of products from the shop. I am combining three of the fall stamp sets. I know they are intended for fall but you can also use this as a Christmas card. I will be using the Fall Gnomes stamp set along with the latest release called Winter Friends and the You, Me, and Pumpkin Spice stamp set. I'm also using the LDRS Creative Christmas Wishes stamp set with the Wave Ribbon Banner Stack Die that coordinates well together and what's good about that is you can stamp it in one go and then you have die cut it and you have a bunch of sentiments in your stash. Also using the Newton's Nook Pines and Holly die set with the Starfield stencil and some brushes there and Distress Oxide inks with Cat Scrappiness Sparkling Clear Droplets and Trinity Stamps container where you can pour in the embellishments and then you can put it back easily. So what I'm doing here right now is I tape the Nina Solar White cardstock inside my Misty stamping tool so that it doesn't shift. And then I'm just going to stamp the images here using Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I will be using my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers to color them in. And I got this tip from Jennifer McGuire that she was using a dry erase eraser or something like that to put more pressure on the stamp images and that's what I did here and it worked out pretty well. So now I'm going to color my images using a combination of the Triblend markers and Classic markers from Spectrum Noir. I will only show you how I colored the gnome in the middle because I've already showed you some coloring before using the other images on my cards and I don't really want this video to take too long so just one coloring here. And here's what it looks like once they are all colored up and I left some really deep shadows on the other critters to create more texture to it. So now I'm just using my blender brushes and since I use Nina Solar White cardstock, I didn't want to use my mini ink foam blending tools because it's really hard to kind of blend it using Nina Solar White so I'm just using my blending brushes here just to add some color to the background and I kind of cheated over here because I was supposed to mask the images but then I thought I'm not really going to extend the color too much to where the critters are actually on the card so I'm just really blending the colors together from the festive berries to wild honey and then twisted citron and then peacock feathers and then I will just go back and forth to blend the colors together. And now I'm going to add some texture to the background using this really beautiful stencil by Newton's Nook called Starfield. 
and I'm just adding a deeper color of the festive berries and then the wild honey and then eventually the twisted citron and peacock feathers and just blending them back and forth and I was being careful here not to add color to the critter so that I don't mess up my coloring and instead of washing the stencil I actually flipped it on the other side and then added more texture to the background there with the twisted citron and peacock feathers and then I thought the uh, bottom of the card looked kind of stark white so just I just added a little bit more color at the bottom of the card now I will be adding the pine boughs that I die cut using the pines and holly die set by Newton's Nook I'm just using this mini glue tube by Lawn Fawn and I will just adhere all the pine boughs on top of the card and eventually I will be using my paper trimmer to trim off the excess Next, I chose this sentiment from LDRS Creative that I've already stamped and die cut. And then I will be adding some sparkling clear droplets to the card for added texture and interest using the Cat Scrappiness Pickup Tool that is actually very handy if you are dealing with small embellishments like these. And I foam mounted the sentiment for added dimension. Next, I adhered the focal background on a slimline card base, measuring 8.5 by 7, folded in half. And to add a little bit more texture and to finish the design, I've added some stickles to the critter's hats. So that is my card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you like this card, I would be so grateful if you can kindly give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I have new video content from my channel. The supplies I use will be listed and linked in the description box below. Thank you again for stopping by today and happy crafting!